Welcome back, my friends, to my Pokemon Violet Blind Nuzlocke. I was just going to call it Violet for some reason. I don't know. Guys, this is my favorite scene right here. Like, this town is my favorite. This and Kaskarafa are both my favorite town. The last episode, I battled the gym leader and had an excellent gym battle. Now I know which way I want to go. So I saw that this is West Province Area 2. West Province Area 2 I currently have no encounters for. So I figure, you know what we're going to do with West West Province Area 2 is we're going to encounter... Uh, let's go with the first Gen 9 exclu... Let's go with whatever the hell that is. What are you? Hey, are you going to land? Yo, you. You and me, right now. Oh god, what have I done? Oh, okay, um... You're level 29, and I, you better not be a water type. Uh, go ahead and incinerate this thing. HP is full, so you can heal yourself. Well, that's good to know. Nice. Okay, you know what? So, Watrell, I'm assuming you're a water type, and that's freaking me out right now. So, I'm going to throw a great ball at you. Because if you're a water type, uh, why am I battling this thing? This is, this is ridiculous. But I have caught it. Watrell is mine. And that was probably a very stupid, lucky move I just got. Because I guarantee that thing was a water type and would have murdered me. All right. Give me one second, everybody. Watson, welcome to the team. In fact, let's... Watson, I kind of want to put you on the party right now and swap out Taddy for you. It's not that I absolutely hate Taddy. It's just I'm 90% sure Taddy evolves into Belly Bolt. And Watrell is already, like, I love this Pokemon already. I would die for this Pokemon, and I haven't owned it for 12 seconds. Be right back. Actually, I'm turning around because I don't know why I bothered with the be right back. Um, there is no be right back. I'm not going to go to Poke Centers. This is officially a route. Although, where I'm going, so I've decided where my route is going to be is, uh, oh, the dolphin Pokemon. What is your name? I got to know. What, what are you? What, what is your name here? This thing is so cool. Finizen. Ah, Finizen, you're amazing. Unfortunately, I have to Poke Doll out of this battle because I don't want you to kill me. But uh, Finizen, dude, I love this Pokemon already, and I've got to have one. I'm going to shiny hunt this thing. I love it. Um, I, I kind of feel bad because, you know, I, I, I basically, I, I, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that. I'm this shiny hunting, 20 years plus doing it, uh, legacy hunter, and yet everyone's shiny hunting except me right now. Um, I feel like I wanted to get the playthrough out of the way, or I shouldn't say out of the way. I want to enjoy my playthrough. I don't want to just rush into into shiny hunting. So I'll let all the other content creators do that. You know, they're they're looking for the numbers. I'm looking for the experience. So here we go. We are. I'll shiny hunt when I'm done. Put it that way. Um, I'm glad to see Sandy Gast back. Sandy Gast, you are amazing. I'm just checking out the area at this point. In fact, let's go down here. Uh, so I know which gym I'm going to. It's the normal type gym. And if I follow this path, I believe it takes me straight to his gym. Jeez, oh my god. Freaking Gyarados. That is not something I would like to uh, play around with is running into a Gyarados. Especially since, like, Legends Arceus set the set the mood, if you will, put the pavement down for how threatening it is to just run across a, a random Gyarados that's literally uh, just flying through the sky. Uh, if I win, can you help me by making deliveries in my steed? Uh, no, that's, that's, uh, that's jo Joachim the Courier. That is not going to happen, bro. But uh, you've got a rufflet, so... I'm pretty sure I'm okay, but Shepherd of Fire, I would like you to evolve soon, so... Well, soon relative. Okay, so you're level 23. All right, I'm not in the wrong area then. I was worried that perhaps I was in an area I shouldn't be because things were going to be super high level, but uh, that said, so I'm doing, I'm doing trainer battles, obviously, and I'll do trainer battles all the way up until the next gym, but what I will not be doing is healing at the Poke Center. We're going to use my supplies as this is a, a survival run. Now, those, uh, those Tauros, they're going to make it hard to survive because it looks like he's literally going to attack me as soon as I get out of this battle, and I don't want that. In fact, Joachim, you should probably not be here. I'm pretty sure that this is, uh, this is very dangerous territory, so let me heal really quickly. Just going to, not even going to cut, just healing it up right now, and let's go. Pikachu and Eevee. 
Uh, got another battle over here? Yes, we do. Kid, this is straight up not safe. You should not be here. Hey, uh, what does Casa Roya mean? That's all I can think about recently. Oh, God. Dude, those Tauros. Like, I feel like I'm going to get assaulted. Well, I guess I have Poké Dolls. It doesn't matter. Hey, Sandy Gast. Dude, Sandy Gast, little guy. Took me over 20,000 encounters to get you to shine back on the Isle of Armor, but I'm glad to see you're in this game. All right, so I should just be able to do this. Hopefully, he's not going to have something crazy like Earthquake. Maybe Astonish? Okay. I was going to say, I would have used a ground move, but everything that wants to kill me is watching me right now. This is so unsettling and uncomfortable, and I don't like it. He, is, he can't wait to get a piece of this. Do not, do not, mask will rain. Nice. Of course, I have a Pokemon for that now. Watson is going to come out, but uh, mask will rain. Perfect. You use the Intimidate on me anyway, so swap out. Let's go, Watson. Kind of a fun fact, if nobody remembers uh, my Pokemon Ultra Moon Nuzlocke, I had Krosis the uh, Manetric, and no one told me, because why would anybody go out of their way to let me know, but between Gen 4 and Gen 8, Masquerain here got a little speed buff. What that caused was I thought I was going to outspeed it, and I think this was against Guzma. And, oh, I didn't even check what your, uh, your ability was. So Masquerain got a nice speed buff. No one told me. And so I lost Krosis the Manetric because I thought yeah, I was totally going to outspeed it, and it turns out no, Masquerain is now faster than Manetric. Although I'm just assuming that Manetric was prior to... Uh... Rock Roth. Okay, what are we doing here? I would kind of like a night one, but you're not going to be a night Lycanroc. You're going to be a day form Lycanroc. Which is fine, because I already had uh, I already had a Lycanroc that was the midnight form anyways in the last Nuzlocke. So this time you can be a day form, which I've never used. I kind of wonder... Sucker Punch? Yeah, let's do it. I kind of wonder if Lycanroc... Uh, you know what? I feel like I should get rid of... Let's just get rid of Sand Attack. I'm not going to use Scummy Sand Attacks anymore. Um, I kind of wonder if there's an own tempo like or like in rock. If there's an own tempo uh, rock rough rather. All right, back onto the the quest from hell here. The uh, there's a little deerling. Everything is so aggressive around here. Everything wants to kill me. I'm not really used to that. No, what am I talking about? I'm perfectly used to that. All right, let me check the sign here. I'm just gonna keep following the path and battling the trainers. So the sign says. Colonnad Hollow, one of ten sites in Paldea. Um, I feel like there's... Let me check the map here really quickly. Alright, so there's a trainer there I will battle, but I'm thinking... I'm thinking this is definitely going to be... Let me just check. That Gabite does not count. Um, this is not a new area. Okay, so this is not yet an area. Um, so you, scientist, that may or may not look like me in the future someday. Let's do this thing. I prefer the indoors, but I came here to see this amazing sight. I'm really wondering, yeah, I guess, uh, Juan the scientist, uh, while you're battling Juan, I think I'm going to go ahead and, oh, you got a Flappy. I think I'm going to go ahead and assume that if I go through here, it's not going to be an encounter area. 24, we're still at the right level. Everything's still going well. Thunder Wave misses, and you are so easy. In fact, you're so quick of a battle, I'm not even going to cut. Okay, okay. Oh, I know, Incinerate's a... Yeah, it's a special move. I take it back. So I've got Incinerate, so you might actually live this now. I was going to say, this battle uh, was so easy and so quick. Never mind, I crit. Yeah, so it's so easy and so quick, I'm not even going to bother cutting you out. Like, it was dull, but it was quick. All right, Juan, level 26. I can't wait to see what you evolve into. Still hoping for a fire-breathing Cayman. I know that I've got literally a crocodile here, but you know what? I think we're going to get a fire-breathing Cayman. All right, so kind of an uneasy, rocky area here. And what was that? Oh, it's a Noibat. I was wondering what you were, but okay, dodge, dodge, dodge. Nobody attack me. Just making my way through, looking for trainers and grabbing stuff. I already have Salandit from the other cave, 
And it's a female Salanded on top of that, which was freaking amazing because I shouldn't have been there in the first place. That was not an area that I was supposed to be able to access, but I did. And then uh, by going up there, hey, look at the little kid here. What do you what do you got here? Help! My hands throw a Pokeball all on its own. Um, kind of an odd, but okay. You are challenged by Aurora the Student. Aurora, powerful name there. I like that name. Uh, Kitaddle. What? Kitaddle, what are you? You don't seem like a water type, but you kind of remind me of a... Uh, I'm just going to go for it. Maybe I'll use Snarl, special attack. Yeah, I was going to say, I just want to see... Uh... I feel like you're might you might be a fairy type. I don't know. Go for Snarl. Ice. You are an ice type. Okay. Or you're just using an ice move. That's possible too. All right. At least I get your special attack down. Uh, I mean, you can you can go ahead and keep using Ice Shard if you want. That's fine by me. Ow! 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 My face. You are an ice type. Okay. You didn't really look like an ice type, but I dig it. Kitaddle. All right, Aurora the student is defeated. GG's. Guess I picked the wrong opponent. All right, well, I need to heal up really quickly. The journey continues. The journey of defying death and fighting odds. All right, so, whoa, okay. Uh, I want to go to the normal gym, which I saw was over that way. Map. All right, so I noticed something right here. Check this out. Close, anyways. Hang on. Area three, area two. So, not only is that going to be an encounter, but I also noticed one more thing that I, I I passed up as I was looking over there, is I've actually missed a trainer here. There is a battle, or a Pokemaniac battle right here. You want to see my strong and rare Pokemon, don't you? Is that, is that a Nidoking at the bottom? He has all Gen 1 Pokemon. Is that a, oh, there's a Nidoking on the bottom. Dude, tell me Nidoran is in the game. I already found a Moonstone back in the, the desert. Oh, you are very high level. Of course you would be. In fact, why am I doing that? I think you're a physical attacker. Char Cadet? Why did I, I... I lowered your special attack, but... Okay, maybe that was a good move after all. I mean, that's going to be some set damage here, but... Um, either way, so... Uh, seeing that gives me hope, although I guess... You know, he's got Kangaskhan on there, and... He's got... I know Charizard's in the game, and I know Gyarados is in the game, of course. Oh, that was... That was a little dangerous. I mean, I'm going to take you out here, but uh, then I got to heal up for the next one. So, but I hope, dude. I found a Moonstone, so there's some support here. I mean, obviously, Nidoran is not the only Pokemon that evolves with uh, a Moonstone, but still. Spirit Tomb, dude. You got a freaking Spirit Tomb. All right. So I have to heal up, and then uh, and then I can start using Snarls on you, especially you. Snarls are a good move. All right. Let's do this. Super Potion, here we go. Now, use something like Mean Look or Scary Face. Hex, okay, I can deal with that because, you know, it's so... Oh, wow, okay. Hit him with a Snarl, please outspeed. Lower his special attack a little bit. And then I think it's time to get out of here because there goes the Hex that will not kill me now. So, um... Actually, let's... All right, so it's a trainer. I said the rule was two potions, two healing items per trainer. So here's the second healing item right now. I'm capped after this. And let's see if I can possibly work on this. Okay, he's got payback. That's a physical move that I don't like. So let's switch out and uh, let's try to take this thing out systematically. And by systematically, I mean let's stall the shit out of him. Val, let's do this. I have crutched on you so much as my my absolute tank. All right. Um, I say we go poison powder instead of stun spore because I'm out of healing moves or I'm out of healing items, so I have to be careful now. Are you gonna use payback again? You're gonna use payback. So time to stall you out. 
All right, how am I going to do this? This is I'm actually in a shitty situation here. I didn't mean to get that bad of a situation. Let's go. You're a fairy type, so let's pop you in. Uh, fairy is super effective against dark, so hopefully... Or not even that. It's not... Uh, um, I need to hold you off, and I've got a fairly defensive Pokemon. Here comes the dark attack. Doesn't hurt that much, and you're poisoned, and I'm defensive, so I'm pretty sure this is an uh, easy win right here now. Uh, let's go play rough. Outspeed. Outspeed. Gun down you go. Done, done, done. How did you even get a spear tomb, dude? Uh, that thing makes the coolest noise, I swear. I'm so glad that they gave spear tomb that weird reverse echo. So strong. So wonderful. All right. Let me just not even a cut. Just going to heal up everybody. Give me just one second here. Normally, I cut all this out, but we're not going to do that this time. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to close my eyes when I get to the bridge and I'm literally just going to run in there. I'm going to find something, whatever I run into that I, I'm going to shake the joystick. That's what I usually do is I kind of oscillate the joystick a little bit. So when I'm running, I'm like back and forth like this. Here we go. West area three, I believe is what it is. Here we go. Close my eyes and in we go. Not hearing anything. I don't like this. I mean, I'm doing it a little exaggerated, but am I running into a wall? All right, I'm going to give it a few seconds here and see. Three, two, one, and now. Okay, so I am in a wall. Let's do this again. Close my eyes. Let's go. Pikachu and Eevee. Uh, maybe this time I won't oscillate it as much. Just a little wiggle wiggle. I'm just trying to sweep so I can get... Uh, you know, something that I can actually freaking find a Pokemon. Alright, I'm going to take a look again. Three, two, one, now. I'm not even in the... Okay. Let's just go straight ahead. That Psyduck is not the encounter. In fact, um, let, me, let me start from back here so I get new encounters and I don't see what I'm doing. Okay, here we go. Close my eyes now. I feel like I would cutting this out, you know, I feel like oscillate and there's got to be a Pokemon here. Come on, dude. I'm sweeping so that I can actually hit something, you know? All right, start over. I opened my eyes and I'm just like, this is not working out. So I'm going to go way back there. I'm going to cut this. I'm going to go way back there. All right, this time for sure, here we go. Straight in, no questions asked. Just not even going to wiggle, maybe a little bit like this. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Just a, a little wiggle. Got something, and that is Persian. Persian, you are the encounter. Sweet. Uh, level 31, I think I'm okay, but... 31 is above what is willing to listen to me, so actually, should I be in this area at all? Hit him with another one. Bites. Okay, we're good. Everything's fine. There we go. And great balls of fire. Let's go. Persian, you're mine for sure. One, two, three, done. GG. The classy cat Pokemon, Boyle. Boyle, my apologies to you. I screwed up. You're the classiest cat, except I didn't check the gender. That was a female Persian, but I will, hopefully that won't be a... You're evolving. Watson, you beast. I literally just got you. Nice, dude. It looks awesome. I love it for an electric bird Pokemon. Kill a Watrell. I love it. That is hilarious, Watson. You are an absolute beast. I love this thing. Uh, contrary to Tad Bolt, or Ball, rather. Um, Electro Ball, nice. All right, so Tropius, Vigoroth. Dude, there were some solid encounters over here. I am so glad that Tropius is in the game. Dude, Tropius, you made it. Absolute beast. I would have loved a Tropius. Behold my illusions. I feel like even if you out-level me a whole bunch, it's not going to be horrible. I, I will show you the illusion of the century. What are with your eyes? Oh, it's makeup. I was like, what the heck is going on here? 
Drift Blim, okay. Drift Blim, good to see you made it in the game as well. You're a, you're a solid pick for Legends Arceus. Um, I feel like I could go for Snarl. I think it would probably be best. Let's just go for Incinerate and get this done. Taunt, nice. Went for Incinerate, so we're good. Solid hit. Look at that. Uh, oh, Zerua. Okay, she did say Illusion was coming. Fake Tears, not good for me, I suppose. Special Defense is down. So is her next Pokemon going to be a Zoroark? Or would it be another Zerua? She wouldn't throw a Zoroark at me. That would be crazy. Drift Blim. Yes, it's a Drift Blim, but is it a real Drift Blim this time? Furthermore, Drift Blim, I'm going to go with Snarl because my special defense... Okay, he's going for Stockpile. My special defense is lowered, and I don't need him doing something like Ominous Wind or, uh, or Shadow Ball. So special defense is up. Let's see. Snarl. Okay, you are a real Drift Blim. That takes down your special attack. Um, let's go another Snarl. Spit up. That's going to do some damage. But Oh, that is that is not some good. That's some bad damage there. Wow. Dude, that did a lot. Like, if he had done a few more stockpiles. I mean, I, I know spit up is powerful, but I didn't think it was going to be that bad for one stockpile. Let's, let's use a healing item here. Only have two healing items per trainer. So we got to make this count. Hopefully he goes for stockpile. If I see stockpile two, I might have to switch out. Here goes stockpile number one. I've got his special defense, or his special attack is down, but he's not attacking with anything. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go incinerate. If he goes for a second stockpile, we got a problem. Swallow, okay. I'm actually okay with that. I was going to say I could terastalize. In fact, yeah, you know what? I think that's the move. Let's see what Incinerate does here. I think I think Terastalizing might be the move. So he's down on his uh, his defense, and that does not do anything. So let's go for Bite. Let's see what he does. Stockpile again. I want to be careful about this, but we might Terastalize here. Special defense is up. Defense is up. It's only one stage, so okay. Not doing much, are we? Uh, I say it's Terastalize time. Let's go. Incinerate. I think we can take him out right now with the Terastalize because I don't anticipate needing Terastalize too much. Um, but at the same time, that stockpile is dangerous. I feel like if he double stockpiles, I'm going to lose somebody. I'm going to have to literally sacrifice someone, and I don't want to have to do that. All right, let's see what we got. Swallow again. All right. I'm actually okay as long as he keeps doing this because he's healing and now I'm terastalized. So his defense goes down. Here we go. I just need to do like a little over half of what's left. So a quarter of his total health in one incinerate and he won't survive the next attack, even if he stockpiles. All right. That's awesome. Doesn't matter what he does here. He's dead. Stockpile. You're dead either way. He could have gone for the kill. He really could have. That was, uh, if he had gone with with, uh, with double stockpile and then spit up, I could have been in some trouble here. I don't even think he had any special attacking moves, ironically. I figured since Fake Tears lowered my special defense, he was going to use Ominous Wind, uh, Nightshade, Shadow Ball, something. Shepard wants Roar, and you're not going to get a Roar. Psalm of the Model has been defeated. So my only concern was she out-leveled me a little bit there. And these Pokemon are out-leveling me, so that's making it even worse. Um, I don't even think that Persian I caught will listen to me, technically. So let me let me keep going, I guess. The Nuzlocke is hard. The road is hard. Um, it's not designed for me to keep going through trainers and not losing Pokemon. I mean, it is a real possibility. Hyper Potion. So I'm not backing down, Vigoroth. I'm not backing down from anybody that's over here. There is a Poke Center, though. So I say we head to the Poke Center and... That will be the end of the recording. There's another trainer. So. Let me make sure I am... You know what? Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm healed up. I'm going to set a berry, actually. All right. Now with a berry, hopefully I can survive a little better. So hopefully I don't have my Terastalizing. But my Pokemon, are, my Pokemon is obviously the cutest, but my friends just don't get it. Uh, belly Bolt. Watch. It's going to be just like... Corolla the student, just like uh, 
Uh, Iona. It's going to be a Belly Bolt. Okay, it's a Dedenne. And that is actually regarded as a cute Pokemon. I don't understand why their friends would be, uh, would be so harsh. I don't have any Incinerates left. Well, that was stupid. Um, let's use Snarl then. Good. He's only got Thunder Shock. Because that's doing more than I actually thought it would do. Let me get your special attack down. And then I'm probably going to have to switch out here. I kind of Parabolic Charge. Uh, okay, I don't want to use. Uh, I don't want to use my Citrus Berry now. Suddenly, I don't want to use the uh, the Citrus Berry. So. All right, uh, Lycanroc, do you have any ground moves out of curiosity? Let's see. No, of course you don't. Um, all right, so I think Val is the pick here. No, that's not the pick. That's that's a bad idea. Um, you know what? Well, you're flying, though. What would be the pick here would be Lycanroc. All right, let's take this little Dedenne out. He's two stages down on his attack, so this should be all right. Charm, all right. So sucker punch is not always going to work because you're not you're not just using. Uh, uh, do I want to go with this? No, let's just let's just attack. I I don't want to mess around with Lear just yet. All right, there goes your speed. That uh, doesn't matter because I was already. Um, you know what? Yeah, I guess we are going to have to go with Lear because I you're going to keep healing and that's kind of frustrating. So, um, or not actually. Let's just keep attacking. We're going to keep up the attacks because he's. It, even if he attacks me with uh, Parabolic Charger Bunch, he's going to go down eventually here. Thankfully, your special attack is down a little bit, so that helped that out. Otherwise, actually, you would be dealing some decent damage. Here we go. Two more or one more? I love how your speed is tanked. When, not that it matters. Okay, so you're using Charm now. Um... Uh, I was going to say, let's see. I got a 70, 60. Sucker Punch. Let's go. Ah, uh, what did he use? It doesn't matter what you use at this point. Crap. Okay, I, I should have attacked. I was going to say. Because I thought I was already down all the way. I didn't realize. All right, use Sucker Punch. What are you still using? Charm again? Charge. All right, so I've definitely played myself. That was That was foolish. Special Defense Rose. Uh, I'm just going to go with Sucker Punch again. Uh, it's not doing much at all now. Are you Fairy type? You might be. Uh, let's go second healing item. What is that thing back there? You look sick, dude. You look absolutely amazing. It's like a fighting tarantula. All right, so Parabolic Charge. Your charge really didn't work that well on it, but my attack is it literally six stages down now, so um, this is not going to work out very well, is it? I just need him to not use Parabolic Charge. Dude, what is that thing? That is so sick. You are amazing. I am definitely going to encounter you. I just want to know what you are. Can I crit? That would be awesome if I could crit and take him out. Parabolic Charge. You're getting lower. I mean, technically you could crit too, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to go for it. I think I think we're at a, a standstill here. Yeah, you're done. Oh, there's the crit. Okay. I guess I actually was playing with fire there because that could have turned out deadly. I don't mind losing as long as I got to convey how cute Dedenne is. No, I'm pretty sure that's not subject to argument. All right, I'm going to go to the Poke Center there, and I'm going to call it an episode here, I think, actually, because uh, there's really nothing more for me to do in this area. I mean, I made it. I made it to the Poke Center. So where are we, first off, is we're in where the normal-type gym is. I'm just curious what this town is. Medali. Well, welcome, Medali. Do I have time to... Maybe I have some time to explore a little bit. Welcome! This is Medali. Kind of sounds like Medley, right? Uh, fitting name for a town with such a mix of people and things. Let me go ahead, you know what? Because I, I, I think this one's actually possibly going to be a little bit shorter. I, I, can, I can go around and just explore the area. So this is Medali. And this is a, another restaurant, isn't it? Yeah. Not a, Well, I guess I know what the food's for. I just don't know how to effectively use the food right now. Um, out of curiosity. 
This is a very Legends Arceus-like town. Well, I should say it's a Japanese-inspired town, but it reminds me of the Legends Arceus inspiration. Food, food, food. Oh, your Pokemon. I think your Pokemon is saying it wants to come eat here at my restaurant. Yeah, I'm sure that's what it says. So we got restaurant, restaurant, restaurant. I'm actually not going to stop at the restaurants. I'm curious if they have anything for sale. Restaurant? Yeah, it's a restaurant. This place has a ton of food. I will have to take that into consideration. Shops? All right, so the, the rest of the shops, it looks like those are ingredients. I was just curious if there's anything here that I can customize. Coffee? I like it. I dig it. Coffee? Nothing. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I like this. Um, it kind of looks like an old amphitheater kind of setting there. Although I don't know what that's for that was down there. But there's the gym. Not going there yet. And my little greedent. What's wrong with your little greedent? That's, I talked to the greedent. I didn't mean to talk to the greedent. No, I don't want to talk to the greedent. What, what do you have to say? My little greedent has gotten bigger recently. I wonder if it's time to move to a bigger living space. Well, you never know. But I wouldn't move for, like, if you had a cat or something. So this is more food. If you have a cat that's gotten huge and you need a bigger house, I mean, that's a... You'd have to literally go, oh, let me pony up a huge, massive amount of money and let me, uh... Let me uproot my life for this cat, you know? Or any pet, for that matter. All right, so, yeah, there's nothing to customize in here, necessarily. It's all food, but I like it. It's a little... It, I mean, this is a weird... It's like... All this town has is, is food. Like, it's all restaurants. It's a tourist town for restaurants. Kind of a neat little setting, I suppose. Um, delivery service. I love the warehouse has a deli bird on it. And it has an item that someone has dropped right there. Boom. Hyper Potion is mine. You. All right. Let's see. So, which direction are you coming from? Let's... Hello there. I'm a Pokemon League rep. Been having some nice battles. Two trainers in Area 3. Okay. So... I've split it up a little bit here. I guess I'm going to have to go back and collect a few things. Maybe I'll do that off recording. So with that said, I suppose I'll call it here, guys. This is a cool little town. I like it. It's uh, it's like, it, it's just that. It's a tourist town, yet we have a gym here. So, all right, we'll see why there's all these restaurants. I'm sure the gym leader will also have restaurants or own a restaurant or maybe all of them. Until then, guys, humble and proud. I'm Nito Marquis, and once again, I survived another episode. You take care, and I'll see you in the next one.